Hello everyone. This is Vishwas and uh, welcome back to our webpack series. As a part of last couple of videos, we are working on optimizing our CSS. In last video, we see how exactly CSS minimizer webpack plugin internally using the CSS nano and uh, remove the duplicate CSS from our code. And uh, as a part of this video, let's understand how exactly we can remove the unused CSS from our final webpack bundle. When we are talking about unused CSS, we might be working on the legacy application or application with large code base. And we might be having the multiple CSS file or some CSS rule that are not used by our HTML, right? In that case, our CSS is not optimized or our bundle is having some unused code and uh, that increase the bundle size. To understand the detail, let me go to the VS code. In VS code, we continue working on our Webpack plugin application. Now I will go to the source folder and uh, look for one of the CSS file, like we have explore.css. And uh, if you look at here, currently all the CSS is used by our application. Just for understanding purpose, I will add one dummy CSS class here. I will use name as a unused CSS, right? And uh, I will add some property to it. Now let me run my build. For that, I will use command npm run build. Our build is successful now. And uh, now if I go to my test folder and look for the explore.css, right? This is completely optimized. But if I go to the end, you will see along with all the CSS, we also have some unused CSS, right? And as a part of this video, let's understand how exactly we can remove the unused CSS from our code. To remove this unused CSS, we can use plugin called Purge CSS Webpack plugin. This plugin will remove all the unused CSS from our code and optimized our bundle for production. First, I need to install that plugin and I will install that through NPM. So NPM install plugin name is Purge CSS Webpack plugin. When we are using this plugin, we also need to install one more dependency and that dependency is globe. And uh, let me save this as a dev dependency. What this globe will do, it is basically the library which will scan all your folders, collect all the CSS files and pass those CSS file to purge CSS webpack plugin to remove the unused CSS. Let me install it. Plugins gets installed successfully. Now let's move to our production webpack config file and start importing those dependencies here. So first thing I need to import the globe here. For that, I will use const globe equal to. It is again import, so we will use Node.js required here. And uh, that is globe. We need to also import our uh, purge CSS plugin. For that, I will use variable purge CSS and uh, required, right? And the plugin name is purge CSS Webpack plugin. Once this is done, let's go to the plugin section and add our plugin there, right? We can add this plugin in any order here. So I will use the new keyword and uh, add my plugin, right? This plugin takes the configuration as an object. In this object, we need to pass the path that needs to be a scan by purge CSS. And we need to pass that path in some different way with the help of globe library. First, go to the top 
and add the root path here for that i will use constant variable and uh, i will use one variable with name paths it will be the object and here we need to set root path for your plugin so i will use src here we need to use the path this path from node.js then we need to use the join here we will use directory name and uh, then we need to pass the src here that means my root path here we have added the root path successfully now let's go to our plugin section and add newly created path there for that we need to use the paths property now we will use our globe library and we need to use the sync method here this sync is used basically to find all the directory from the given location synchronously then we need to add our path for path we need to add it dynamically and for that we will use the backtick template string first we need to specify our path here that the variable we created on top then we need to specify the directory in directory i will add double star and then i will add a star here that means basically we need to scan for all the directories in the given folder double star means all the directories and search for all the files we also need to specify one more object here and that object name is no directory and uh, that will be true so this configuration is basically required for globe let's save the changes and run our build again for that i will use npm run build we got one error here if you go to the top and uh, you will look at error the purge css is not a constructor it took me some time to find the error but the error is simple and it is related to import with the recent changes the purge css plugin is required a named export and for that we need to use purge css plugin let's copy this and uh, use it here let's save the changes and uh, run our build again our build is successful now and uh, if i go to my dist folder and look for explore.css we are seeing that we don't see any code here right let me go to the webpack config and try to understand the error here we are using paths variable and uh, here we are using the root path as a src right yeah the mistake is here instead of directly using path we need to use paths dot root folder that means src let me save these changes and run my build again and hopefully it should work now yes our build is successful now let me go to our explore.css again the code is here in the minified format and if i go to the end you will see whatever dummy css we added that is not available now this is how the purge css plugin help us to remove the unused css from our code and we can optimize our bundle further mainly for our legacy or the application with large code base now for some reason if you want to skip any of the file from scanning or removing the duplicate css we can also do that or if you want to skip any of the class right any of the particular class name we can also do that and for that we need to use different options here the first one let's go with the file that we want to skip for that we have property called only and here it will take the array and we can 
specify this chunk that we want to include. That means if you look at here, currently we have two different chunk. One is uh, indexed and another one is explore, right? So what, what I will do, let me go to the explore.css. Here we already added a new CSS class, right? Also, let me go to the style.css and uh, I will add one more CSS here. I will give name as a unused CSS one. Let me save these changes. And now in Webpack config, we only add one chunk. Consider, let me add explore here. Means it will only take the explore chunk and optimized or remove the unused CSS for it. It will don't do anything for index chunk. Let me run my build and uh, we will see the result. Yes, our build is successful now. And uh, if I go to my explorer.css in bundle, right, you will see the unused CSS is not available here. But if I go to the index.css and search for unused CSS, we will see the class is present here because we are only considering the explore chunk here. Also, if you want to skip any of the class for that, we have an option called safe list. Let's use this class. It is again array and we can specify our class here that we want to skip from the list. For that, let me go to our explore.css again and now I will use this particular class, right? That means I want to exclude or skip this class from unused CSS process. Let's save this and run my build again. And now once our build gets successful, you will see as we added this class in safe list, this particular unused CSS should not get removed from our final bundle, right? For that, let me go to the explore.css. And if you go to the end, you will see this particular class is added into the final bundle. And this is more important when you are adding some dynamic CSS and we want to add some of the CSS classes in safe list. I think that's all for removing the unused CSS from our code. If you need more understanding on Purge CSS Webpack plugin, you can visit the NPM documentation and here you will see all the details related to the configuration how exactly we can use the globe set the root path then how exactly we can use that root path in our plugin and uh, finally option for only and safe list that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in next one till now thank you Bye.